I am not going to lie. When I saw, you know, Vice President Miko with a blurred object in her hand that's going bzzz after Gaku uh, Gakuto, I was like, oh, hell no. What the fuck am I watching? I ain't going to lie. going on guys we are talking prison school episode four review and <laughs> what the fuck am i watching um as you saw last episode kakuto pretty much he uh he tackled madam president down uh for his punishment he asked uh michael vice president the big boot one shave his head and that then we get into this fucking plan you know what i love about the show is the it's like a con, you know? It's like a prison break. It's a prison break, right? Uh, it, it's a fun prison break, and it's a strange prison break, and how they animate it, it's fucking hysterical. Um, but I guess the only complaint I have with... Well, we'll get to the complaints and stuff right now. So basically, what you need to know is that's what happened, is he shaved his head, he used the head, the, the, head, the hair for uh, Kiyoshi to use when that their plan to succeed because kiyoshi was going to go to the laboratory right he's going to go to that underground tunnel he was going to get go out from uh one of the the pipes or whatever the uh just go out before the the school gate dress up like a girl and just walk and just walk out walk out of the school to do that though he needed to get clothes and that's what he gets he gets clothes with with little you know it was a little hard it was a little i mean this guy who was you know put, putting in clothes for the school school uh the women in the school, you know, their, their uniforms and stuff, and then put them in his van. You know, he Kiyoshi needed a distraction. Gakuto gave him a distraction. He even pissed his pants. He, has his, he did his little bug eye shit that I, I was like, what the fuck is going on there? And then all you need to know is Kiyoshi got the, one of the student counselors clothes to wear to make him pretend like he's a girl. Uh, so they go with the plan. You know, everything's working great except the fucking jacket is too big or too small on Kiyoshi when he's about to, you know, go to the front gate. And then Miko is a little suspicious about why Kiyoshi is in the laboratory for so much. They do use that plan with the fart and shit sounds that work. Um, but all you need to know is Kiyoshi did end up <laughs> going through the front gate after getting stopped by the president, Madam President, and then, you know... She's like, oh, why are you wearing your backpack that way? Because he, she can't see um, Kiyoshi's face. Puts down the backpack and you have a little big ass rip that uh, Kiyoshi did because the fucking jacket was too small. She's like, oh, you're embarrassing. You. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, go. Go on. Of course, Kiyoshi, she knows something's up. Excuse me. She knows something up. Something's up. I mean, uh, Madam Pres the President knows something's up. But Kiyoshi ends up going to the front gate and meeting Chio for the wrestling, the sumo wrestling date. Uh, <laughs> you know, he eats Chio's little rice balls things, makes him a little bit sick, goes to the bathroom. Chio spills tea on his bag and finds that jacket that happens to be hers, ripped. And he get Kiyoshi comes back and basically she calls him disgusting and she leaves. And Kiyoshi's with his little bag. In a train station. Don't even know if he gets uh, Gakuto's figurines. We'll know next episode. And not only that. But the plan of the laboratory. Gets all fucked up by one of the. You know the. Uh, the blonde headed guy. You know Gakuto's like. Oh you know Kyoshi. Or the blonde headed guy's like. Oh yeah Kyoshi I haven't seen him forever. He's in the laboratory. Well he's fucking around. I'm gonna go get him. And Gakuto tries to stop him. But of course Miko gets there. The vice president. And she's telling you know. Kiyoshi, get out of the bathroom. I haven't seen you for the noon, this and that. The thing is not working with all the fart and shit sounds, so she kicks down the door, basically. So that's pretty much the gist of the episode, if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's just a little recap, I guess. But all I gotta say, though, the first half of this episode, I was a little bit like, okay, you know, it's entertaining, whatever. The second half really just, like, kicks right in. I mean, there's a lot... There was, Quite a bit of suspenseful moments of because I haven't read the manga, you know, I'm just going by episode of these anime series. And it's it's 
funny because it's so outrageous. And I mean, I love how they use the Lego scenes. I think that's hilarious. Uh, but the the bug eye Gagato when he was distracting the driver or whatever the guy who's handling all the uniforms. That was just weird. He's like a fucking gecko, you know. Uh, you got to give it to uh, Gakuto. I mean, he just, he, when he is, you know, <laughs> when he goes all out, he goes all out. And you can see the relationship with him and Kyoshi. You know, they made fun of it in early on in the episodes, but they are really becoming close uh, best friends. They're best friends, basically. Uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's hysterical how they're just trying to do this prison break just for this one specific specific date because uh they're supposed to be getting out they're supposed to be getting out the next day but of course kiyoshi's gonna get caught he has to get caught you know they're gonna be put in for another month watch uh miko man i mean did, did you see miko this episode like her ass was really sticking out her tits were really popping like they really exploited miko i mean they really gave it to us some raunchy shit when Miko, the vice president, I mean, she was just fucking, oh, just popping now, you know. I mean, especially when she kicks down the door, like, she's like, uh, you know, those squats, baby, squats. Um, just crazy shit. And then, of course, her being the shit out of Gakuto, man, there must be something there. Because she's always being the shit out of everybody. But Gakuto especially, you know, she calls him four, four eyeglasses. I think, I think there's a little something there. I'm not sure. Because she's always, like, going after that guy. Uh, I would like to see the other... I know the blonde-headed guy played a part in this episode, but however, I would like to see the team get involved in here. The other other guys, I wanted to know... They're really there just for background noise, honestly. I don't know what they're... I can't get the feel of their character. Maybe we'll get that after this prison heist. I mean, the date, it's over. I thought we were going to have to wait another episode to get to the date, but the date, it's over. And uh, Chio, you know... Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with Chio and... Uh, Kyoshi. I mean, I don't know how he's gonna explain that shit. So, very interesting. Uh, it was a very enjoyable episode. It did pick up towards the second half. I think the first half was okay. Uh, the prison break <laughs> thing is kind of funny. It's not as funny, funny. It's 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 funny for the aspect of just being over the top and being so serious. But it, it is it is what it is. So, it's a great episode. It's a great episode. I, I really enjoy in prison school. It's it's fucking weird. <laughs> It's very explicit and it's very raunchy, but it's if you could deal with all that, if you like all that, I think you'll enjoy it. It's like, I don't say it's like Ted. I just saw Ted 2. This is a lot more entertaining than Ted 2. I just saw Ted 2. So thank you guys for listening. If you haven't already, please like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I always keep saying that if you haven't already. And comment below and I will answer all your guys' questions. So thank you guys for listening. And the man is out.